my channel data bi sql so in today's video right we will continue with the data analyst interview question series and uh, today is the part 5 of the series i highly recommend you guys to go and watch uh, other four parts uh, the playlist is in the comment section uh, or description section uh, and you can look at those description section uh, for the for the uh, other four videos i I would recommend that you look at at least part one because in part one I have uh, covered how to create the tables that we are, we are covering in these videos and then how to insert the data in this uh, in these tables, right? So the the part one comments and description has the scripts also uh, which you can use and directly copy paste in uh, Postgres database uh, so that uh, you can just look at the data that I am looking at uh, and you can look at the tables that I am looking at, right? So if you want to practice right it will be it will be on the same page uh, okay so today's video right i mean it's a little bit of i would say for data analyst it's a little bit of advanced level uh, interview question uh, the reason i say that is because uh, for data analyst right uh, joining two tables and then uh, multiplying the two columns from two different tables is like kind of a intermediate to advanced level for senior data engineer it i would say it's it's beginner to add uh, intermediate but for data analyst definitely uh, you know uh, the, the the SQL is involved, not not a very heavy SQL, so that's why I'm classifying into that. Okay, so there are two tables. Okay, that we'll be covering today. Uh, one is the order table, right? So the order table is pretty. Uh, I mean, just uh, resonate uh, these tables with one of the restaurant chain, right? I mean, just look at Olive Garden, McDonald's, you know, any restaurant chain that you have. So the order ID is there, uh, right? Which is an order table is a primary key, right? So you have multiple, like you don't, you don't have a order number repeating. And then uh, you have customer ID, right? Who placed the order. And then you have menu ID. Uh, so what is the menu item, right? And we'll come to the menu ID because we have menu table as well. And then there is an order date on which order uh, date order was placed. And then how many quantity, right? I mean, for a particular menu item one, um, there was in, in order one, uh, there was uh, quantity were two, okay, the, the, the total quantity were two. As you can see, the quantity is varying by order number, right? So, but just remember the quantity because we'll need that, we need that in the, in, in, in the, in, to solving the, our interview question. So the menu table is, uh, is where menu, right? I mean, straightforward menu ID one, which is appetizer item name is garlic bread menu item two is main course chicken alfarado and then price okay so look at the price right uh, each of the items and then the price right so that's basically making up your uh, uh, menu item and uh, uh, the item and the price right so the question they are asking is find total order amount for each orders right so uh, order for each order right so order bread to get orders table right pretty straightforward we saw it the order id total order amount right so is the total order amount a price no right um so how do you come out with total order amount right so total order amount you, you is simply what the price you paid and the things you bought or, or a quantity you bought right um let's say you buy two pair of jeans uh, right i mean um, and each pair each each jeans cost you 20 dollars obviously the total amount you paid is 40 dollars right same is the case here uh, right so if you see the order number one let's stick with order number one okay just for an example so menu item menu id one you say garlic bread the price is six dollars now the menu id one right menu id is one the order id is one the quantity is two Right. So what is the what will be the total amount for the order? Twelve dollars, right? Or five ninety nine into two, so uh, eleven ninety eight, right? And that's going to be the order uh, total order, right? So that's that's what they are asking for. So for that, what we need to do is we need to do first select from, right? Let's let's take out the table first. Uh, that's a good practice always because uh, uh, you know you can. Uh, Write a from class so you just write whatever tables are involved in that, right? So what we need to do is we need to join these two tables, correct? So joining is one important part here, right? Where o dot order underscore id or order id in fact is equal to in menu what it is called 
in menu also it is called order id only i think right oh no we have to join on menu id see when you look at the table right that time you come to know okay menu id right because we are joining on the menu id correct both the table has the common menu id not order id right order id is a primary key then menu id is there here and menu id is a foreign key in the table right menu id right so you need to join on this menu id correct now what are they saying they are saying that give me for each order right so what we need to do we need to order id right <coughs> Total amount for total amount means immediately things should click on your mind that it should is a sum, okay? It's a sum, right? It's a sum. Uh, they asking you to do, uh, asking you to uh, do a basically multiplication, right? So multiplication of now here in the order table you have quantity, right? Into menu table you have price correct what was it price right that will give you correct now let's run the query will this work it will not work because this is the summation. You are doing summation by order. So what you need to do use? You need to use group by, right? Let's see if there's an issue with this one. Yeah. So you got the answer, right? So what was the what was the order one? One we saw eleven ninety eight. Correct. Right. That's what should be the answer. Now just in order to impress the interviewer just always make sure that your data is readable okay because otherwise you know it uh, it shows that you are you have a good handle on the sql okay so when you do order by you can see for each of the orders you can see this data right correct so for each of the order you can see the total order amount right so yeah i mean it's just uh, straightforward quantity into price so if for any order if you see right so let's say you take order number 10 for example order number 10 order id 10 right has two quantity and menu menu id 10 basically okay what is menu id 10 menu id 10 appetizer 499 499 into 2 is 10, 9, 19, 9, 98, right? Let's look at 10, okay? 998, okay? So it's matching, right? Take an any random, uh, right? You know the data, looking at the data, right? The number of rows are less, right? So you just pick a couple of order and then verify with your answer, right? I mean, just do on the fly calculation, not difficult, right? To want it into 490, easy to calculate, uh, you know, without even calculator, right? And then the query should return that, correct? So uh, what did we learn today, right? As, a, as far as the data analyst is concerned, data analyst, for data analyst, this is joining two tables, right? Uh, finding a common key between two tables, joining it through that ID. Uh, multiplying two two columns right uh, from two different tables correct so you need to use alias right o is alias for order tables m is alias for menu table so uh, basically joining the two call multiplying two columns to two different tables right that's one thing that's uh, the second thing right then using uh, the group by clause right because you need to sum uh, and group by by order id so that's another third point uh, and then uh, basically not giving a straight forward answer uh, uh, in the uh, straightforward column in the table right you had to you had to you know think little that oh total order amount is given but uh, you know it's not available in any of these tables right so uh, what should i do right i mean uh, obviously the question is asked definitely there are data in tables which will give you the answer right 
so in that case obviously you need to think that uh, logical thing right that order amount will be price into quantity and you can always verify this with interviewer there is no harm asking to interviewer um, uh, that when you say total order amount it's quantity multiplied by price right you know and interview will confirm okay so don't be afraid don't assume anything okay just ask interviewer that you know uh, what uh, this is the way i'll multiply is that correct right and that will give a very good impression to interview that you are engaged in a conversation you are asking him questions right so uh, always remember this point that ask the interviewer the question okay <coughs> excuse me uh, so that is it for today guys uh, i hope there was a lot of learning out of this and if that is the case i request you guys to please like my videos and please subscribe to my channel right uh, um the other day uh, i got a comment from one of the one of the viewer that you know we are really liking your video and please waiting for next video it gives, gives me a lot of encouragement uh, you know i cannot explain you that uh, if my content is helping uh, and asking for more content i will make more content uh, you know but uh, for that you will have to like my videos and subscribe to my channel so that you know my videos get uh, promoted in the youtube feed okay thank you